Welcome back to the Ibrit Trust YouTube channel. In today's class, I'm going to learn how to make this beautiful abaya that we see here. Okay, it's very beautiful and simple to make as we have seen. It has a lacing at the side which makes it easy for you to lace it up and then adjust it to whatever size that you wish to wear this with and you can see the flock design that we have at the center so i'll be teaching us how to make this together with the design that we see there as well if this is something you like to learn kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial thank you okay so to make this now i have folded my fabric into four now the measurement that I use to fold this is my full length measurement which is 16 inches which is the exact measurement of my crepe and then the width measurement that I used was my hip measurement plus allowance so now this allowance is totally up to you and how big you want your abaya to be for me my hip is 44 divided by 4 is 11 so I decided to add extra 15 to it which is quite big for that's what I want. If I feel it's too big, I can still reduce it later. So now I have 16 inches folded here plus one inch allowance, which makes it 17 inches that we have here. Okay. So here, just like we do for our normal basic bodies, my shoulder is 16 divided by two is eight. So here I'm going to take my shoulder measurement and then on that point i'm going to come down by one inch from my shoulder slope and then i'm going to mark my ham hole the ham hole is nine so it stops there so on my ham hole line i'm going to take my bust measure my bust is first far as well so i'll make that 11 i'll add one inch for ease and then one inch same allowance so that's the allowance that i'm going to be adding to the bust so here i'm going to connect my ham hole curve using my curve driller okay so you just make this line straight so that i can guide you on where to draw your ham hole line this fabric is very shaky but the texture is so beautiful especially for this type of design because it's really really fluffy and it's shaky at the same time that was why i held it with my pin so now for the neckline now you have to be careful because we're not going to be putting a zipper in this you can put the zipper in front or at the back but for this particular tutorial i'm not going to be working with a zipper so i'll make sure that the neckline is big enough to take my head okay so i'm working with a neck width of three and a half inches and then my neck depth is going to be around two inches for the back and then for the front i'm going to be going as low as seven inches so with this my head can still pass through freely so now i'm going to connect for my arm o curve okay so remember this is a free dress so to make it fitted we're going to be adding loops at the dart lines so that we can adjust it anyhow we want so now i'm going to be marking those points i'm going to be adding my loops after shaping this dress so my waist my half length is 16 inches so from here i'm going to mark the 16 inches here madden half an inch so that when i join the shoulder it doesn't jump and then on that line as well i'm going to mark it my waist is 36 36 divided by 4 is 9. But like I said, we are going to be adding strap there. So I'm going to add like extra 3 inches to that or even 4 inches. Okay. So I'm going to add that to, to it. And then here I'm going to mark my hip, hip line. So this is my hip line. You can actually just take it out to your, to your hip like that. But from your uh, from this bus you can take it down to your ear, but i just want it to have a little bit of shape in there that's why i shaped it like that so here on my hip i'm marking 11 inches for my hip and i remember that i said i want to add extra five inches so i'm adding that and then one inch seam allowance so 
now i'm going to connect this from my hip to my waist and then from my waist i'm going to connect to my bust okay okay the fabric is shaky so so from here now i'll just maintain what i have on my hip line straight down and then i'm just going to cut it straight down like this so let me just connect what i have so that we can see it clearly so this is what i have now and then i'm going to go ahead and shape it but for the loops that i talked about here the loop is going to start from my waistline okay which is here so ideally my bust span is eight inches but because i don't want it so close to the center front so i'll just mark it at around six to seven inches from my center front okay this is the center front so here i'm going to mark six inches here inwards okay and then from there i'm going to come up by around four to five inches like this and then i'll do the same thing downwards like this so i'll mark the six inches again so that i can have a straight line so i'm just going to mark like a dot on that point so now you're going to mark it on all the four dot lines that you're supposed to have remember you have two in front and two at the back so here i'm marking half an inch on both sides and then i'm going to connect it just like we have our dot so now i'll go ahead and use my bias to create like loops that i'm going to be embedding in between this dot line so this dot line is what is going to cover the bias the loops that i want to create with my bias for me so i'm just trying to show us how i'll be creating the loop so that by the time i create it on those other sides we will not be confused okay so this is what i'm going to have now so i'll do this for the other side as well and then i'm going to do it for the back as well so now i'll cut this out so that we can see what it looks like sorry the lighting is making the color change the color of the fabric is actually fuchsia pink and don't forget to draw your shoulder slope okay i'm not mention that in the video but please always remember to do the right thing all the time so this is my neckline and for the neckline i'm going to go ahead and cut facing for it as well so that i can turn it out neatly okay so now after marking your dart line i later change my dart line from six inches to eight inches because like i said i don't want it to be too close so you can see this was the six inches i marked i moved it by two inches you can use whatever it is you want i just thought to show us that so now i'm going to be using my bias as my loop just like i said remember this is how your bias comes right so what you just want to do is to just fold it so you can use this rope you can use whatever it is you want so i'm using my bias i'm just folding this into two and then i'm going to sew on it so after sewing on it now this is what it's going to look like so i'll now cut it into small pieces just like this the one i have here is about three inches in length so now this center line this center that line is very important that's going to be your your reference points i want to put three loops you can put four you can put five depending on where you want but for this particular story i'm putting three so i'll just fold my loop, loop like this and then i'm going to place it on this center line so because i'm putting three i'll put one at the center and then one each by the side so after putting it like this following the center line that i have there i'm just going to sew on it so i'll sew this i'll put one here and put one here i have done this on this side so after sewing it like this the next thing i'm going to do now is to take my scissors now and then i'm going to trim off the excess bias so that that place is not going to be too bulky when i take my dart so now after holding it this is what you're going to have so now you're just going to fold your dart following the center line and then you're going to sew the dart that you have there so this line this seam that you already have there you, of course if you sew on that center line it means this seam is your center line so now i'm just going to hold this like this you can hold with a pin and then you can reconfirm your dart and then sew on your dart so i'm just going to show us one that <coughs> excuse me i have sewn 
okay so this is one i just sew my dart normally on the wrong side and by the time you open it out this is what it's going to look like you can see now that you have your loops already and then your dart is just going to hide whatever rough edge that you may have there so now you're going to do this for all the four that and then for the center front before adding my flock i want to use this shiny feathers bias at the center front so what you just need to do is to mark your center line and then you're going to draw a straight line just like this on the right side so after drawing your straight line i'm just going to place my bias on this like this and then i'm going to sew by this side so you can hold this with your pin or whatever just something to assist you so that i can get a center line so after doing this now i'll go ahead and turn the neckline with my facing and then i'm going to join the shoulder and the side seam together okay before i had my you can hide your flock at this point as as well but i just prefer to just finish up the dress before i had it so now i'll go ahead and fix all of this to it i'm going to turn the neckline i will sew the side and then i'm just going to cut my basic sleeve as well so you can see that i have fixed my velvet bias at the center front here as you can see so please when you're marking your that use a just mark lightly or use a color that matches your fabric i did this because this is a tutorial and i want us to see what i'm doing very well you can see that i have fixed my facing as well the neckline is clean now this is the shoulder area i have my ham hold here so i just have to fix my sleeve and then this is my side seam also so, so you can see the loops that we have here this is the three loops for the front and the three for the back and then we have the same thing on the sides as well so i have cut out my sleeve and like i said i'm working with a basic sleeve okay so you can see the sleeve now it's just a regular basic sleeve you can cut any sleeve of your choice i've gone ahead to add my flock design to my sleeve okay this is the design that i chose there are several designs that you can choose from okay so i think i'm going to be using this for my sleeve. so you can see this is how the flock comes okay and it's available for sale so it's available in different designs and different colors this is how it comes you just need to put it on your fabric to make it really come out nice so i think i'm going to be going with this design for the main bodies and then i'm going to be using this design for my two sleeves so now what i just need to do now is to sew this sleeve to my bodies like that and then i'll go ahead now and cut out these patterns and then i'm going to be adding it to my to my center front okay so detailed tutorial on how i added this is already uploaded as well so i'll just link it for you in the comment section so that i can go watch it and see how i was able to fix this so i'll do all of this now and bring it back to show us what we have and then here you can just use a rope or use a, a buyer rope or whatever it is to just lace it at the side so that you can adjust it to whatever size that you want so now i'll go ahead and fix my flock on this now and then i'll bring it back to show us what we have so i am going to add my flock design and you can see how beautiful this abaya came out you can do this for both front and back you can do whatever design that you want and like i said if you did any of this we have them available for sale just let me know in the comment section i will attend to you i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i will see you in the next one bye